Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will cover numbers up to 9 and we're going to be doing addition. So let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. 5 plus something equals 8. So 5 plus something equals 8. Now, as we've said in an earlier tutorial, there is more than one way to do this. Let's begin with the dot method. Now, let's rewrite the question again so we can do some workings. We've got 5 plus something equals 8. 5 plus something equals 8. Now, the way we use the dot method is we're starting from number 5 and we're going to count forwards and write down dots over here, draw the dots, until we get to number 8. So we're starting at 5, let's count forwards. 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we have to stop because we've reached 8. How many dots have we drawn? Well, we've drawn one, two, three. And that is our answer, three. Five plus three equals eight. So that is using the dot method. It's a very simple method to use. Okay, now we're going to use our second method, which is the number line. Now, as you know, a number line is simply a line with numbers. Let's draw it over here. And ours is going to start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So our number line, and let's write this down. This is our number line and it goes from 0 to 10, okay? And if you see a question like this and you want to use the number line, by all means, draw it yourself, okay? You won't necessarily see this in a, a below the question. You have to draw it yourself. So get in the habit of doing this. Now let's have a look at our question again. We have 5 plus something equals 8. Now the first step is let's find the number 5 on the number line. Have you found it? It's over here. Let's draw a nice big dot above it. So that is 5, our starting point. Now what number do we have to stop at? It's after the equal sign. It is 8. I'm going to draw a circle around the number 8. Okay. So we're starting at 5 and we have to end at 8. Now how many jumps will it take for us to, to get to 8? So let's start at 5. Okay, count the jumps with me, okay? 1, 2, 3. Oops, I've gone a little bit far. I'm just going to do that again, just to make sure we get it right. We've got 1, 2, and 3. Okay, we've got 1 jump, 2 jumps, 3 jumps. And that is our answer, 3. So it took three jumps to get from five to eight. Now notice how the three is the same three as over here. So two different methods, but the same result. Okay, we're now going to use our third method we've used before. This is the head and fingers method. And you can also call it counting, okay? Now I'm going to rewrite the question again, just so that we can do some workings. 5 plus something equals 8. Okay, now the head and fingers method, the counting method, works like this. We are, just going to change colors, we are starting at number 5. So we're starting at 5, we have to end at 8. So what I want you to do is to hold out your hand, Close all the fingers, make it a fist, 
and count from five until we get to eight, and then we have to stop. Okay, so we're at we're at five. Count forwards. Hold out one finger. I'm going to draw the fingers. Hold out one finger. That's six. Keep counting forwards. Hold out another finger. Seven, and hold out one more finger. Eight. And now we stop, because we've got to eight. How many fingers are we holding out? Well, let's count them. You're holding out one, two, three fingers. Okay, and that is our answer. Three. Now the head and fingers method is very important because you can do this without any pen or paper. Okay, it's good mental arithmetic. Now let's just compare all the answers. We've got three over here using the dot method. That was our answer. We've got three using the number line. Now let's take this all the way around and we've got three using the head and fingers counting method. All three methods, we've got the same result. So that is how we find the missing number with numbers up to nine when we are doing addition.